what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about halloween in this video here today more specifically going over jamie lee curtis's recent comments that she gave on halloween to entertainment weekly where she to me it, more more or less overall was saying goodbye to the character of laurie strode but this has been getting a lot of people talking because the thing people have been honing in on is that she seems to be teasing a potential return because she said never say never but i'll share my thoughts on this because a lot of you also started chiming in when i shared this on twitter saying she did actually put out something on instagram or one of her social accounts suggesting she is not done with michael after all uh whatever she said i have hung up my bell bottoms and my pale blue button down shirt and I have relinquished Lori to the ages with a warm aloha and a thanks for all the years and memories. And yet, if I've learned anything in my 65 years on the planet, it's never say never. Goodbye. No, it's that never say never that's got people talking. I can only say this. Should Lori Strode come back one more time? No. And I say that because Lori Strode, at least Jamie Lee Curtis's iteration of Lori Strode, has had enough opportunities to have her story concluded. You know, at some point, if you keep striking out with the fan base and if you just keep striking out when it, when it comes to giving people what they think should be Laurie Strode's conclusion, just because you keep striking out doesn't mean you need to keep trying over and over again. Some stories, they're just going to have to end on a whimper. And if Halloween Ends was a disservice to the character of Laurie for you, it wasn't to me. I, I'm sorry to say, but that's just kind of how this goes. Some things are not going to end well. People took issue with Halloween Ends ending Laurie Strode. People took issue with Resurrections ending of Laurie Strode. Most people that I've spoken to and had the pleasure of communicating with seem to have preferred what could have been her ending in H2O, but of course that wasn't her ending. But then there's also some people who don't think H2O is even that good of a film and they took issue with her ending in H2O. So you see what I'm saying? You're always going to have somebody who says, oh, well, no, that wasn't a good ending for the character. Oh, well, this was a good ending for the character. Actually, oh, no, it wasn't. This one was. No, it wasn't. So it's like that constant back and forth is always going to be there. That's why I stress at some point as a fan, I have to be willing to take a step back and say, you know what? Even though I love this and even though I might have hated this, I need to be able to step back and say, when is enough enough? I think we've had enough of Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. Now, if she wants to come back in some capacity, I'll tell you what I would be down for. I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel to Resurrection, but of course she died in the beginning of Resurrection, but you know, they can work their magic. Maybe there's something where John has some type of uh, flashback or some type of audio, audio flashback that plays out in his head where you can have Jamie Lee Curtis obviously voicing what he's hearing in his head. We get to hear it through the screen. That could be her way of coming back as Laurie Strode. I don't need to see Laurie Strode in another new timeline that is experiencing trauma from an event that happened 40 years ago. It shaped her whole existence. And yeah, we've all, we've done that twice now. We did it for 20 years with H2O. And then we did it recently with Halloween 2018 for 40 years. We don't need to do it for 60 years. And then we don't need to come back and do it for 80 years. It's It's tired, man. Lori Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis's iteration is one of the most iconic final girls we have ever witnessed in the horror genre. It's unfortunate that some people think she went out on a low note, but it is what it is. What what else should she do? You know, you could say, oh, well, they can actually do this, that and the third. Like I stated, someone else is going to come around and say that's not how her story should have ended. You're just always going to have this fra fraction of people who say that wasn't how her story should have ended. This is how it should have ended. Or you actually should have done this instead of that. That discourse is not going anywhere. So just because it was a disservice to you doesn't mean that they should come back and do it all over again. I think we should just accept that she is done with the character. And I think she should be done with the character for good. I think she should look forward to new roles, whatever else she has to offer us while she's here. Uh, she's still one of the most talented actresses I, I've ever had the pleasure of watching on screen. So I would like to see her in new things as opposed to continuing to come back to the role of Laurie Strode. I'm tired of that. You guys might have a different opinion on it, as I'm sure you'll let me know down in the comment section below. Like I've stated again, the only way I would like to see Laurie Strode back with Jamie Lee reprising that character would be if you were to somehow give us a sequel to Resurrection that's set so many years later. John Tate is 
hunting Michael Myers, who has been on the run ever since he escaped from the hospital that we saw him in at the end of Resurrection. And you just hear voiceovers from Jamie Lee Curtis that way as Laurie Strode. Or maybe there's some flashbacks we get and they de-age Jamie Lee Curtis to play Laurie Strode. I don't know. That's just the only real way I would prefer to see her right now. Doing it all over again, another H2O thing, or just pretending Halloween ends didn't happen because so many people, myself included, weren't that impressed with Halloween ends. No, some stuff just has to end on a sour note. I get that it sucks, but it is what it is. We're going to see that with a lot of things we love. That's just life. I'm not going to necessarily then go on forever in a day saying, you know what? Come back and fix that. Come back and fix this. Come back and fix that. Do this. Do that. You'll be in a never ending cycle. You have to learn to let these characters go. Comfort characters for me, while they bring me comfort, I try to not get so attached to the point where I just seem completely irrational in my stances on them. Having this desired this desired outcome for them is one thing but then to keep on saying that the filmmakers or whoever gets their hands on it should continue to do it until it plays out exactly how i have it in my head that's delusional because nobody's going to do that at at least halloween ends gave Lori strode a happy ending an ending i would argue she did deserve and she kind of already again had that in h2o she kind of already had that in some capacity with 2018 a lot of people even argue that halloween kills and halloween ends weren't even necessary sequels but we know why they happened because the box office outperformed what was expected for halloween 2018 so yeah i don't i don't see any more story left to tell for jamie lee curtis's iteration of laurie strode and if she were to come back again the only way i would want to see it right now is if she were to revive that resurrection h2o timeline and i don't see that happening anytime soon but you guys can let me know what you think about her comments down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video